I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the Xbox One Connect. Yes, I know it's technically part of the Xbox One package, but this complex and compact design deserves its very own teardown. This little guy is packed with a 1080p HD wide angle camera and an active infrared sensor that allows it to see in the dark, as well as a multi microphone array with noise cancellation and voice command. And we can't wait to get our hands on it. First things first, we disconnect its cord. It was easier said than done. And we peel away the sticky sticker concealing our entry point. After a few screws are removed, we get our first look inside. Then we make quick work of the Kinect's cooling system, which consists of an adorable little five volt DC fan and a small grill. Next up, we removed the motherboard. On the board, we found one gigabit of Samsung made DDR3 SD RAM and the chip that is the replacement for the Prime Sense chip used in the last Kinect. And finally, we get to the cameras. The previous model had not one, not two, but three cameras, and this year, the Kinect sheds the baby weight and slims down to only two cameras and a set of IR emitters. The first camera is your basic selfie camera that will capture your Skype feed, and the second camera reads the IR signals that are coming from the emitters and reflecting back to the camera, thus reading your movement. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything. So we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The Xbox One Connect got a six out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, it's super easy to replace the fan once you get inside. And while there isn't much to fix inside, most components are modular and held in place with screws. But on the downside, the three little cameras in the center of the bar are held in place with soldered in straps. Screws held under tamper evident tape and tricky clips make it hard to get inside. And finally, the same screw types from the original Kinect are back, including one repair inhibiting security bit. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com ifixit.